Swallowing occurs in two stages, the oropharyngeal and esophageal stages. At the start of a swallow, a food bolus is voluntarily pressed by the tongue up against the roof of the mouth and backwards towards the pharynx. In response to activation of pharyngeal pressure receptors, the swallowing center in the medulla initiates reflexes that prevent food entry into respiratory passageways. The uvula contracts, which blocks the nasal passages from the pharynx. The laryngeal muscles contract, closing the glottis at the top of the trachea by tightly aligning the vocal folds. The epiglottis swings down upon the closed glottis. With all airways blocked off, respiration is temporarily inhibited. As the upper esophageal sphincter relaxes, pharyngeal contractions drive the bolus into the esophagus. The oral pharyngeal stage is done and breathing resumes. During the esophageal stage, a primary wave of peristalsis initiated by the swallowing center pushes the bolus through the esophagus. As the bolus travels through the esophagus, the lower esophageal sphincter relaxes, allowing the food to enter the stomach. If the bolus is sticky and adheres to the esophagus, secondary peristaltic waves triggered by the intrinsic plexus at the point of distension completely clear the esophageal lumen to finish the swallow. happens when this timing is off. This can happen to even someone healthy and young. This man is drinking soda, but... Oops, be careful. He ended up choking on it uncontrollably. This has probably happened to you too. This is called aspiration. The symptoms of dysphagia can include choking on food or liquid on a daily basis. Those who have dysphagia have a floppy epiglottis. The food broken down by teeth ends up in the trachea because the epiglottis does not close in time. Or because the swallowing does not take place while the epiglottis is closed. This is what causes aspiration. This is an x-ray image capturing the mechanism of aspiration. You can see liquid is slowly collecting inside the trachea. Trying to swallow, the patient ended up choking. Food and saliva that enter the lungs by mistake actually contain many bacteria and can cause pneumonia if such foreign materials are not removed by coughing or in the form of sputum. Currently, it's estimated that 20% of elderly people in need of nursing care experience difficulty in swallowing. Furthermore, most cases of pneumonia, which is the fourth leading cause of death in Japan, are actually said to be induced by aspiration.